Hi, my name is Katie and today I'm going to be demonstrating you to how um, to paint a scenery with little to no experience. So me personally, I love to paint. I've been doing uh, lots of arts and crafts for a long time. It's one of my biggest hobbies. Um, so today we're going to go a little bit more into that and go ahead and get started. So first you are going to go ahead and get your canvas. Make sure you have a clean space set up. Um, and then we are going to go ahead and grab our materials. You can choose, you know, whatever colors you like. Uh, just make sure to grab the amount of paintbrushes that you need, the types that you want to. Um, it is up to the user's preference on what style they want to use. But for colors today, I am going to be doing like a midnight pink purple sunset. And um, I always like to add some extra color in there to just make sure that I have plenty because we have small sizes that we're working with. Um, and then we have the paint brushes right here. Um, you, again, you can use any kind of style of paintbrush that you like, but for this uh, painting that we'll be doing, I just find it a little bit easier to work with sponge paint brushes. Um, if you want to go into more detail, you are always more than welcome to do that with smaller brushes, more detailed brushes. Um, but again, this is just for someone who doesn't have a lot of experience with uh, painting. So we will go ahead and get started with that. So what I'm gonna do, uh, I am going to just go ahead and paint all of this one color. Um, and then I will be right back and then we will get started on the details. So here we've just put the three colors that I showed you in the beginning, the pink, the white and then the blue and basically we just put this on the canvas and mix it up um, just to show you a little bit how you get that color it's very simple and then again later we will go in and add more detail after that but just to let you know what I'm doing right now we'll go ahead and do this and I will get finished and the next time you see it will be completed okay so now that this has dried what we are going to do is we're going to take some black paint already mix them up. I've got a little bit of purple in mine. Um, you can use whatever color that you would like. Uh, black is just as fine as well. I just wanted to throw in a little bit more color in there. So what we are going to do is we're going to just dip some on our clean brush and we are going to make a line over here because what we're aiming to do is do like a lake so it can match the sky over here and then some trees to go in that as well. So we'll just go ahead and you can do a curve, you can do however you like. Um, you can also do it just straight across because for the most part, this is just giving you an understanding of how you're able to do it because um, most of this is going to be black and we'll fill in the detail later. So we will go ahead and get a lot of this on this paintbrush. And just go ahead and fill in the sides of it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do the other side to make sure it's filled out really good and I will be right back. Okay, so now that I have both of these sides filled in, what we are going to do is we're just going to make some lines going up and across and we will go up from here to the same size down here so this looks like a reflection and um, then we will go ahead and make that done it's a very much trust the process so we will go ahead and get back with you once this is done as well okay so now that we've got our trees painted in um, again this is just very simple we're just going to go in and add some little stars some little details to the skies um, just to show that there is something else going on up there. Uh, you can add clouds, you can add some ripples in the water. Again, this is very basic, very beginner, very kid friendly. It's very easy to do and once you get more advanced, you can of course add in a lot more detail. But the, again, this is very basic, very beginner. So I will just continue to just put some stars over here. And then again, we can go ahead and add some more ripples. 
just to show that there's a little bit more going on. If you wanted to, you could also add like the stars reflections, but this is pretty much how you uh, paint a scenery. Uh, we've got the reflection in the lake, uh, the forest going back and forth over Starry Night. Um, so thank you for watching my demonstration speech. I hope you enjoyed it and thank you so much.